So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Uh, today we're taking a look at a mini keyboard. This is a Bluetooth mini keyboard. This one is from Fossman, but this is one of those keyboards that it will be rebranded. So you'll see different names up here, but ideal for anyone with an Android box, Fire Stick, anything that has a Bluetooth connection. So main features, of course, wireless typing, built-in touchpad for fast, easy navigation. Useful any time of the day, backlit button. So excited about that as well. Also has hotkey, uh, connect wirelessly um, within that Bluetooth range. So for anyone that has an Nvidia Shield, a Fire Stick, a PC, Android box, anything that you need a remote for, this will be ideal. So let's go ahead and we'll take it out of the package here. Nice hard plastic. So it does essentially doubles up as a carrying case. I do like that. See if we can open it up without breaking anything. Right, so there's one on each side. All right. Pull that part out. Put it to the side. We have another layer of plastic. User manual here. Gives you a nice idea of what each button does and how to properly um, operate. So should be reading this but I should be able to figure it out micro USB charger so here we go look at this so I'll put the specs in the left of the screen I know a lot of you probably wondering about battery life battery size and so on and so forth so I'll go ahead and put that up there and please feel free to pause the video if you need more time so a lot of useful buttons you have function right here left click right click page up page down this is your touchpad. This part does not click, but um, up top, we have the light button, Bluetooth, volume up, volume down, rewind, fast forward. And within each button, whenever you see a blue, and within each button, wherever it's blue, that's where your function will come in handy. Enter button right here, space. Nice design. Um, feels pretty solid, not too heavy. The buttons are rubber. Some feedback there, not too um, noisy. On the top you have two button guys. So this is your left click. This is your right click. So nice that they have that up here as well as down here as well. Nice touch. Go ahead and turn it on. All right. So first thing it goes into pairing mode. And I'll go ahead and I'll connect that to the Nvidia Shield in a little bit. And last but not least you have your charging uh, which is under the bottom. Now I do see an open and look like it should be a microphone but uh, that wasn't one of the features so we'll see if that's anything. But besides that, uh, good looking design. We have some rubber um, grips right there. Besides that we have our Bluetooth uh, indicator pairing. Uh, we do have our low battery indicator, our charging indicator, as well as our shortcut. The backlight buttons, I'll show you how that looks in a little bit. doesn't really um, work until you have it paired to a particular device. So let's go ahead and get it paired to the shield and just check it out in action. All right, so here we are, guys. Got it paired to the 2019 shield. That's the shield dongle. And um, this is the original remote. A lot of you guys have been asking about this. I did a couple giveaways in this remote. It's awesome. Got the backlight button. does have the fine arm mode feature. But the one thing that this remote is lacking is actual keyboard buttons. So great remote, like I said, guys. They're very hard to find. Do have three that I'll be giving away soon. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure your notification bell is on. Another batch of giveaway coming up soon. So let's go ahead and get this paired. So on the shield, we're gonna go up to our settings and we're gonna go to remotes and accessories. From there, we're gonna add a Bluetooth accessory and that's where you're gonna go ahead and turn this on. You should see the blue LED and go ahead and press the Bluetooth button. All right, so it will start flashing and it should appear in the top right here in a little bit. All right, so there it is right there, guys. Um, Bluetooth keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. All right, so this pairing shouldn't take too long. And we're gonna confirm. And that's basically it. The remote is now uh, connected. So from here, I can hit escape to get out of the menus. Move up and down. You can see it's very responsive.
we do have the volume up volume down let's go ahead and check that out that works pretty good let's go ahead and check out the backlit buttons uh, while we're here all right so to activate the buttons all you have to do is go ahead and press this right here and you can see it actually comes to life guys go ahead and turn it back off all right so we'll just see if it stays on constantly or if it times out so when the backlit buttons are activated they will stay on constantly you will need to go ahead and press it again to turn it off but besides that the buttons look really good you can see that using the trackpad actually activates a mouse on the screen and then you can go ahead and click on whatever you want it to click on just a double tap as you would on a normal keyboard let's go ahead and get out of that before i get a copyright strike we do have a search button let's go ahead and see what that does so that does activate google search um, but this lacks a microphone so that's not going to work but if you wanted to search something um, on google all you have to do is hit your windows button and then you can start searching so the home button does work as well so, so while netflix is loading if you just go ahead and hit home it does bring you back let's go ahead and open a website and we're going to be using analyty one of my favorite apps guys analyty is not only a speed tester but it also does a lot including um, having the option to go to websites so you can download apks this way i've done a couple videos on that and i'll go ahead and link that in the description as well so we're going to go to web check And you can see you do have an active mouse on the screen guys so from here you can just go to the website you wanted to go to remember we have these two buttons right here we do have the left click right click go ahead and hit the home button there so that's it for this video guys want to know what you guys think about this keyboard it's 26 dollars on amazon i'll go ahead and leave a link in the description but a couple things i liked about it, a couple things i did not i love the layout of it i love how it looks how it feels in your hands i love the trackpad feature on here and the backlit buttons look amazing as well as far as the dislikes i i think they could have tried to push a microphone in there that way when you do the search or you do the google assistant you do have some way to, to have that voice input but besides that i think it's a great alternative for anyone that has a remote whether it's this remote or the older nvidia shield remote and you need something with active buttons this is a good option so let me know what you guys think drop your comments in the comment section below don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one